Lexington's Bryan Station High School is currently under the microscope following a warning that if the school doesn't improve, the state will take over. While the principal admits the school has its fair share of issues, he says it does get a bad rap. As Miranda Combs shows us in a WKYT exclusive, the principal says it's going to take the whole community to turn things around. Good morning. Good morning. This is a short change. It's about 800 kids in the hallway, roughly. It's not just a numbers game. Can we get those headphones up for me. But there are plenty of stats against him. Get that hood off for me. We watched James McMillan during a morning class change at Bryan Station High School. That student that took his hood off put it right back on. I've been here 29 days. Hey guys, if you're late to class, make sure you make your way to the tardy table. It's up front. And I've been cussed out on the phone by parents and, you know, not liking decisions I've made and things I've done. You doing all right, man? How are you doing today? Hey, will you get that hood off for me? Yeah, I, I appreciate you. it. Thank you, sir. There's a trust that we have to build with parents and the community. I thought it was awesome that we were having those conversations, letting kids tell their stories this morning so that they, they know that we're in it for their students. A converted conference room is his office, covered in goals and paperwork. Most times when we come and interview somebody, they immediately clean off their desk, and you did not even attempt to do that. Before you guys got here, there was a whole bunch of people in here, and we were we were talking, we were strategizing on what's the next steps. We're we're talking about uh, walkthroughs right now. Right now, though, he's the principal of a high school being watched very closely by the state because Bryan Station is one of the lowest performing high schools in the area. Your big goal right now is to get the state off your back, right? Um, no, that wouldn't be my big goal. My big goal is to, to change the educational culture here because if we do those things, everything else takes care of itself. The blueprints are plainly posted for everyone, and it's everyone he's after. To change what we've got going on, not only here, but on the north side of town, Winburn, Crawford, uh, uh, William Wells Brown, Mary Todd, uh, Bryan Station Middle School, like it's got to be a community partnership with not only Fayette County Public Schools, but with Lexington in general. This fight was one of 22 reported at Bryan Station last year. That was more than the total amount of assaults at all other Lexington high schools. How many fights have you had this year? Off the top of my head that I can think of, maybe three or four. And he says those have been outside before or after school. Changes have happened on the inside. Teachers are now required to be in the halls during class change. All teachers are on our hands on day. They're greeting kids. They're having conversations with them. They're building those relationships. We were there for three class changes. We have 1,796, so roughly 1,800 kids are exchanging classes right now. Check out the student in black. He passes our camera several times. Two of those times, he made an obscene gesture to our camera. We told McMillan about it. That's the piece that we've got to, that we've got, we've got to instill some of these morals and things that, that are going away. So, and again, it's not Brian Station. I keep saying that. It's that could have happened at any school in this state. He says the media attention on Bryan Station is warranted considering the state's scathing report last school year. But he says the attention is felt by his students. We are hearing from parents that there are problems, altercations going on, and we respond to that. We've got to build that trust. Like, I kind of look at this school and I, I, I start all my emails uh, to staff and to parents, you know, Bryan Station family. We've got to build that family relationship that when something happens here, we keep it in the family. He says he doesn't know yet if he will apply to be permanent principal. Everything going all right in here? Not because he's unsure of his ability to change the future here, but because, like any family, everyone needs to fit. We've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. McMillan was appointed by Superintendent Manny Kalk to be interim principal at Bryan Station. If he wants to be the permanent principal, he'll still have to apply like everyone else. When I asked if he will apply, he said he won't make that decision until January. Miranda Combs, WKYT. Bryan Station is a Title I school, which means the school has a high population of low-income students.